Hi, good day guys. My name is Alex with a how-to video on LG Home Entertainment within South Africa. Now, we're going to be showing you how to go through each step when you've now purchased a brand new TV. Not only that guys, but also some of the best settings to apply to an LG TV when you've purchased brand new. Now, most of you guys may not know how to install additional applications besides the preloaded apps that you do get in an LG TV. So I'll also show you that in this episode. Let's get straight into the model behind me so that we can follow these steps alongside myself and you guys won't get lost or confused along the way. Let's get straight into it. So very simple over here, guys. All you need to do is click your OK button on your Magic Remote to head over to the installation method. Now you've got mobile device as well as TV. I'm going to choose the TV option because it's just much more simpler. And I hope you guys don't complicate things and follow the TV process. What you then greeted with is the language and location settings. I've gone with English the region southern africa and you can see the countries available in the region i am based in south africa and where i then get the exact location is with the time zone so i'm going to go over to johannesburg i'm going to head over to next here you have uh, the internet connection now this is an lg smart tv so you have access to netflix disney plus BSTV now, Showmax, and etc. And you'd need network or internet connection to access or have full accessibility to your LG Smart TV. So I'm going to connect to my internet connection and this will take within seconds. So see you guys in just a bit. So once connected and entered my password, it takes within seconds and then takes me over to the terms and conditions. This is because I've now connected to the network over there. So I'm going to click next. Here I'm going to agree to all. Then I'm going to head over to more and then agree. So right now, what is it looking for is for any Bluetooth devices near the LG TV. I'm going to skip this and just click next. And then it's going to ask what we would like to use our TV for. So right here, you can see you can have a set top box only, TV only, TV and set top box or none. So set top box is your DSTV decoder. So I'm gonna choose the TV only option because I don't have a decoder or a top box available with me. So I'll click next. Then you're gonna look at the installation method. Do you have your TV on a stand, on a desk, or is your TV wall mounted? So this will be applied to your living room setting, whether it is on a stand or wall mounted. My TV here is on a stand and I'm gonna put that in a stand TV motion. Now program tuning, I'm not gonna look for any available free air t uh, channels. Uh, what's nice about 2022 products or even our TVs is that it has a digital tuner within the TV. So you don't now need to use an antenna, cable or satellite. You would use the digital tuners because if I click next, it will then go th through the the digital only search but I'm not going to go through the program tuning right now I am going to exit the installation process and it's going to ask me to sign into an LG account now guys I highly recommend you do this process because it, you then get full even further access to your TV in terms of uh, features and benefits. We're talking about personalized content based on who is using the TV at the time because with 2022 TVs you can have up to eight users in a single household that can access a TV using their account. Now I'm going to choose the option to sign in with the LG Thank You app and let me tell you how easy it is to create account and have the account the same as your Gmail etc. So I'm going to head over to my Thank You app right now I've already created an account on my LG Thank You app and I'm gonna click to find this device over here so I'm gonna add device instead of scanning the QR code available in the background over there I'm gonna select a device to be manually installed over here and it's what it's doing right now searching for all available TVs on the same Wi-Fi network so I'm gonna click TV and now I'm gonna find my TV over here this is a 30 inch so there we go and right now, it's being displayed with the pin in the back. Now, this pin is going to be unique to your installation method. It won't be the same as you can see right over there. So, I'm going to enter my password right now or the pin available on the screen. And then, I'm going to click Next. 
And what's it's happening right now, it's going through the option to sign into the account that you've created on the LG Think You app. And that will be then be linked to the LG TV that we are using right now. So within seconds, when you feel the vibration on your phone and you see no notification, you then know that it has been successful. And you can also see the message over here that you have signed into the account and it's doing a little bit of things right now. What it's recommending is some content to be installed, etc. If you like Prime Video, you can have that installed, but I'm just gonna skip for now. And we're gonna get into the sort of dashboard of the TV, the intro. Now, before you get excited and now you wanna access your Netflix, your Prime Video, you wanna watch some YouTube videos, etc. What I recommend is changing a few settings on your TV. So first and foremost, click your settings button on your Magic Remote, head over to all settings, go to general, then go to energy saving. Now, this is an important setting that you must turn off. The auto power off. Re please turn this off because we, you, we, we usually get the case where uh, you've now purchased a TV and your TV is now turning off every four hours and you don't know why. Well, now you do. It is the energy saving setting that you have over there. So make sure that is off. So the second most important thing is making sure that the TV is up to date with the latest software that is operating in the WebOS 22. So head over to support, then software update, Make sure you enable this auto update. And from there, you click check for updates. Now it's gonna check for the latest software update for WebOS 22. And as you can see, it says no updates found. So which means the TV is up to date over here. Now it won't be the same for every single TV that you purchase. So make sure you guys are always going through the process of updating the software available. Now, when you head over to your home dashboard, you think you are good to go with your Netflix, etc. However, when you access it for the first time, you'll be greeted with an update. So you need to update all your preloaded apps that you're looking to use. So your Amazon, your Apple TV, your Netflix, etc. And as you can see right now, it's going through a process over here of updating and getting the update that is available for the TV. Now, depending on your network speed, this should be far much more quicker than what is happening on screen over here. So we're gonna speed run this until it's available to show the update. So as you can see right now, the update page has been uh, slapped onto the screen and we have an update of 127.78 megabytes. So I'm gonna let this update and I'll see you when it's done updating. So the Netflix application has been updated successfully and it opens to the screen over here and you can then sign in with your account details to start watching your favorite films and series. But what, what happens if now you want to install additional apps besides the preloaded apps that is available to use? Well, you go over to this little icon which is called apps, you click on it and now this is specifically for DSTV now as well as a show max. The mistake that happens constantly in South Africa, especially with LG TVs, is, is that you are searching for DSTV now instead of just DSTV. So look when we've loaded up. So once open, you're greeted with the dashboard, what is featured, entertainment, game, etc. But I want to find DSTV now. Now the common mistake is that we are searching for the full application DSTV now. However, all you need to search is DSTV only. So just type DSTV, click the search. There you go. Then you would find that you are now able to, to have DSTV installed onto your LG TV. So I'm gonna click my apps over here. It takes me to the DSTV app page. And then I'm gonna click install. So it will take within seconds because it's only uh, roughly about 179.67 kilobytes over there. So that would take within seconds to install. And then you can then access your DSTV. Now I say seconds, but <laughs> the network right over here is quite slow. So we're finally in, it's now able to launch. I'm gonna click launch and then I'm gonna head over to the DSTV. So in order to access DSTV, it's quite different. You don't have account sign in. However, you're greeted with this sort of landing page. So you need to go to a computer or your phone's web browser and visit 
now.dstv.com slash TV and enter the unique code that is available on your TV in order to sign into the account. So it is that simple in order to install an app like DSTV and just the same when it comes down to applications like Showmax. So you just go back to apps. Then when you within apps over here, you search for Showmax and then you'll be able to install Showmax over there. So I'm gonna speed run through this right over here. So search bar again, Showmax. You could also use your cursor to make it easier to type. There we go. And then the same process, click on the apps shown over here head over to the app page and click install. Now again, it will take within a couple of seconds over here, much quicker than DSTV, and then you get to launch the application. Now, just like DSTV now, the same sort of process is applied to Showmax where you need to enter a unique code on the URL that is shown over here. So you head over to showmax.com slash link and enter the unique code that is present over there. But guys, that is how you set up your TV and download additional apps. If you want those apps to be shown in the front, it is as simple as clicking edit application, then head over to the end over here where they've been installed and drag them to the very front and now when you are using your tv you'll have dstv in the front because that is your main application that you would like to use so those are the steps you need to follow in order to get where i am at on your lg tv and as well as some of the tweaked settings i showed you over there and if you want to install additional software or so applications or services you head over to the apps icon page over there and then search for your applicable application now if you want to install additional apps that is not found on the lg content store please note that this is built off Linux. The WebOS operating system found in an LG TV is built off Linux. So that application needs to then be uh, a Linux compatible app. If you want to install Android apps, unfortunately, you can't not do that. However, you could use your Android smartphone and you can wirelessly display that app onto your TV and your TV will then get picture as well as audio from your smartphone. But I hope you guys enjoyed that how to set up your TV and I look forward to doing more how-to videos in the future.